This is the homework for lesson 12 of module 8 for second grade. Get your name on here first. Don't skip it because a lot of times you'll forget it later. Partition the rectangles in two different ways to show equal shares. Now this word partition just means to draw a line to make it into parts. So that's where you see the word part in it. So it just means draw lines to, to make it into different parts. So here I want to show two halves. So two different ways to show two halves. So if I go corner to corner here, I can do two halves. And if I make halfway on this one, on this side, halfway on this side, and then connect the sides, there's two different ways to show two halves. And now for three thirds, let's see. Remember my trick? I've shown this before. Guess about halfway. Halfway is usually the easiest one to guess. Thirds are a little bit smaller than halves, so my pro tip is start with half, and then guess like a little bit less, and then a little bit more. And do the same thing on the other side like that, and then you will have a pretty good chance of getting it to come out the way to look close. To thirds and then just draw erase this there that's about as good as I can do and then we can do the same thing from the other side on the other on the short sides there and there these are easier to work with shorter lines are easier to work with and it's not gonna be perfect just try to get just do what you can to get it to look close. Four fourths, and you could do it like this. I can make halves like that. Or you can do this is one of the best tricks for doing fourths is make a halfway mark. And now look at the top half and guess where half of that is. There. And then look at the bottom half and look where that half half of that is. And now you have fourths. And two halves again. So for squares, I can go like that. Or I can go like two halves, right? Halves. So I can just go that like that too. And now thirds. About like that. Don't try and work with the corners. Doing thirds with a square. It's just really, really difficult to make it to come out looking right. Uh, four fourths. So you can either make the X going corner to corner. A lot of ways to do fourths with a square. Or you can do half, and then half of the left half, and then half of the right half. And that's about as good as you're going to get it to look. Cut out the square at the bottom of this page. So that's way down here, this guy. Cut out that square with some scissors uh, to make two equal size rectangles and shade one half using your pencil. This is going to be easier if you um, if you shade it first before you cut it out. And it says you're going to make two equal size rectangles with it so you can't go corner to corner because that'll make triangles. So and then rearrange the halves to make a new rectangle with no gaps or overlaps. So this is what it's going to look like. So, so far, you've done either either vertical halfway cut like that or a horizontal one to get two rectangles. And then to make another rectangle, you can either put them, let's see, to make a new rectangle. So that's a square is a rectangle. So it's just to make a new one. So you're not going to make another square, but what you're going to do is put them, you can put them like this end to end so you have a long skinny rectangle 
right? And one of them is, uh, one of these is shaded in, right? So, and one of them will be shaded in this way. The big idea here is that this is, this is half shaded in, the square is half shaded in, and here's a rectangle, and it's still half shaded in, because there's still two halves. And then cut each part in half to make four equal sized squares, and rearrange the new shares to create different polygons. And I'm not going to tell you what the answers are for that, because those you make up your own on your own. Uh, and draw one of them. One half will be shaded in. So I'm just going to make one up to give you an example. So like you're going to have this. And when you make your other cut, you're going to have. You're going to end up with four squares that with two of them shaded in. And you can draw as long as you have your squares. And two of them shaded in. You can put them in any arrangement you like as long as there are no gaps in between the sides and there are no overlap pieces. So looking at this, the big idea is like, oh, that's like a, it's like an L on its side or something. Uh, or turned around. And uh, it's still half shaded. Right, because that's, that's still half. Or it can look like... You could have made another polygon that looked like this. You can make an L. Three squares. And these two shaded in. Well, there's four, e it's four equal pieces, and it's still like you started out by shading half of it. And it's still half of it shaded in because it's still the same thing. It's just rearranged a different way, but it's still half shaded in.